Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Have you ever wondered what happens when you press the clutch pedal in a car? Or maybe you've heard car enthusiasts talk about the joy of driving a manual transmission and wondered what the fuss is all about. The clutch, while often overlooked, is one of the most critical components in vehicles with manual transmissions. It's the key to unlocking the smooth, controlled operation of your car, enabling you to start, stop, and shift gears with precision. But what exactly does the clutch do? And why is it so essential? In this video, we'll delve deep into the world of clutches, exploring how they work, the different types, and why they play such a crucial role in the driving experience. Whether you're a seasoned driver or just curious about how cars function, this explanation will give you a newfound appreciation for the humble clutch. So let's hit the road and take a closer look at this fascinating component. The clutch serves as the essential link between the engine and the transmission. Its primary function is to engage and disengage the engine from the transmission, allowing the driver to change gears smoothly. When the clutch pedal is depressed, it disconnects the engine's power from the transmission, which stops the transmission from driving the wheels. This disconnection allows the driver to shift gears without causing damage to the transmission. Once the desired gear is selected and the clutch pedal is released, the clutch re-engages the engine to the transmission, allowing power to flow from the engine to the wheels again. This process is vital for the smooth operation of a manual car, enabling the vehicle to start from a standstill, accelerate, decelerate, and come to a stop without stalling the engine. The clutch mechanism is composed of several key components including the clutch disc, pressure plate, flywheel, and release bearing. The clutch disc is a friction plate that sits between the engine's flywheel and the pressure plate. When the clutch pedal is engaged, the pressure plate presses the clutch disc against the flywheel, which allows the engine's power to be transmitted to the transmission. The flywheel is a heavy disc attached to the engine's crankshaft, which helps to smooth out the engine's power delivery by storing rotational energy. The release bearing is the component that pushes against the pressure plate when the clutch pedal is depressed, allowing the clutch disc to disengage from the flywheel. This entire system works together in a finely tuned balance to ensure that the vehicle can operate smoothly and efficiently. One of the key aspects of clutch operation is the friction material on the clutch disc. This material is designed to provide the necessary grip to transmit the engine's power to the transmission, while also being able to withstand the heat generated during the engagement and disengagement process. Over time, this friction material can wear down, leading to a condition known as clutch slip, where the clutch disc can no longer effectively transmit power. When this happens, the engine's power is not fully transferred to the transmission, resulting in a loss of acceleration and poor vehicle performance. Clutch slip is one of the most common signs that the clutch needs to be replaced, as it indicates that the friction material has worn down to the point where it can no longer perform its function effectively. The clutch in a car also plays a crucial role in the overall driving experience particularly in terms of how the driver interacts with the vehicle. For many drivers, particularly those who enjoy a more involved driving experience, the clutch adds an element of control and connection to the car. The process of manually shifting gears and modulating the clutch pedal allows the driver to have a more direct influence on the vehicle's performance, which can be particularly satisfying when driving on a winding road or during spirited driving. However, Driving a manual transmission vehicle also requires a certain level of skill, particularly when it comes to timing the engagement and disengagement of the clutch. Improper use of the clutch, such as riding the clutch pedal or shifting gears too quickly, can lead to premature wear of the clutch components and a less smooth driving experience. 
There are different types of clutches used in vehicles, depending on the specific application and the type of transmission. The most common type of clutch found in passenger cars is the single plate clutch, which uses a single friction disc to transmit power from the engine to the transmission. This type of clutch is relatively simple in design and provides a good balance between durability and performance. However, in high performance or heavy duty vehicles, a multi-plate clutch may be used. This type of clutch uses multiple friction discs stacked together, which allows for greater torque transmission and improved performance under high stress conditions. Multi-plate clutches are often found in racing cars, motorcycles, and some heavy duty trucks where the demands on the clutch are significantly higher than in a typical passenger car. The clutch is also a key component in the operation of manual transmission vehicles, which are becoming increasingly rare in modern cars. As automatic transmissions have become more advanced and efficient, the demand for manual transmissions has decreased, particularly in markets like the United States, where the majority of vehicles are now sold with automatic transmissions. However, manual transmissions and clutches still have a loyal following among driving enthusiasts who appreciate the direct control and engagement that a manual gearbox provides. In some parts of the world, manual transmissions are still the norm, particularly in smaller, more affordable cars, where the simplicity and lower cost of a manual transmission make it the preferred choice. In addition to traditional manual transmissions, clutches are also used in other types of transmissions, such as automated manual transmissions, AMTs, and dual clutch transmissions, DCTs. In an AMT, the clutch and gear shifting are controlled by the vehicle's computer, allowing for a more automated driving experience while still retaining the mechanical efficiency of a manual transmission. DCTs, on the other hand, use two separate clutches, one for the even-numbered gears and one for the odd-numbered gears, which allows for faster and smoother gear shifts. DCTs are commonly found in high-performance cars and some luxury vehicles, where the combination of quick shifting and efficient power delivery is highly valued. The lifespan of a clutch can vary significantly depending on a number of factors, including the type of vehicle, the driving conditions, and the driving habits of the owner. In general, a clutch in a typical passenger car can last anywhere from 50,000 to 100,000 miles, though some clutches may last much longer with proper care and maintenance. However, aggressive driving, such as frequent hard launches or excessive riding of the clutch pedal, can significantly shorten the life of the clutch. Regular maintenance, such as adjusting the clutch linkage and replacing the clutch fluid, can help to extend the life of the clutch and ensure that it operates smoothly. In some cases, clutch problems may also be caused by issues with other components in the transmission system, such as worn bearings or a faulty release mechanism, which may require additional repairs. To summarize, the clutch is a vital component in a manual transmission vehicle, playing a key role in the operation of the vehicle and the overall driving experience. By allowing the driver to engage and disengage the engine from the transmission, the clutch enables smooth gear changes and efficient power delivery. The clutch's operation relies on a complex system of components, including the clutch disc, pressure plate, flywheel, and release bearing, all of which must work together in perfect harmony. The friction material on the clutch disc is crucial for providing the necessary grip to transmit power, but it can wear down over time leading to clutch slip and the need for replacement. Despite the decline in manual transmission vehicles, the clutch remains an important part of automotive history and continues to be appreciated by driving enthusiasts for the control and engagement it provides. Whether in a simple single-plate clutch or a high-performance multi-plate clutch, the principles of clutch operation remain the same, ensuring that the power of the engine is effectively transmitted to the wheels, allowing the vehicle to move smoothly and efficiently. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.
Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.